Hi guys. IL3D here. Hope you've been fine. Some of you ask how to reach a nice hair shader in Blender. So here you have it. Let's start with the basics. First we need a hair card material. I created mine using Fibershop, who is a nice app for this particular task. But you can create yours using Blender or downloading some from Google. I am sharing my own with you, link in the description. Second, we have to understand how hair cards work. So in Blender we need to make sure to have a full quad geometry. This is the most important thing you can't avoid. No tris, full quads. With this in mind we can create a full rectangular UV map who will fit the textures we already have. And the last step, but not less important, we going to need two UV maps. One for the hair base material and the second for the anisotropic effect. This UV map is a bit different, you must quadrify the entire UV island. Making this two UV map method you have total control of the effects. I am not going to build the entire shader, instead I will share to you three snaps of the node tree and some useful comments, link in the description. Let's focus in the important part. Nice topology and how to set the UV maps. Let's grab a new geo and create the first UV map layout. This one's must to be called exactly the same as the main one. If it's not, the material won't work, I called mine color. So I will be renaming it as color. The letter case must be same too. Next we need to make sure that all the topology are quads. If it's not, we have to fix it. With a nice full quad topology. We can add some marks as seams. To separate the main shape as cards. Now is the moment to convert our UVs to cards. For that I will be using the alpha texture as background. This will going to help me to align them nicely. We need to grab the border of the UV island and then using the S plus X plus zero command to align them in the X coordinate. And them the same, but this time in the Y coordinate. Another big thing is to rotate 180 degrees or UV islands cause Blender by default set them upside down. And that's it, we are ready to apply the main color material, so let's transfer it from the one who already have the mat, and then let's align all the cards to the texture. Those white spots are an issue that you could get when you build this kind of shader. Most of all cause we can't use the show backface option or the backface culling. Because if you activate them will broke the mat. And make it look glitch. So in order to solve them, we have to tweak the UV cards and make them shoulder when they are overlapped. Nice. Finally the anisotropic part. Let us create a new UV map. And name it anisotropic. Remember most be the same as the original one you have in your main material. Same letter case too. Select all the geo and clear all the UV scenes. This going to reset the new UV layout we just create. By default Blender makes a clone of the first one. And then create a new unwrap from the full geo selected. The line all edges in the X and Y coordinate.
Don't forget to rotate 180 the whole thing. When it is done, you must refresh the viewport and reselect the main color UV layout to get things right. Come back to the anisotropic layout and change the position of the islands to set the effect nice and clean. And that's it, there you have it. If you want to learn something about my workflow or just like to see this kind of content, don't forget go to my Facebook page and give it a like. I really appreciate it. Leave your comments I'll be responding to all of them. So, be nice, be good. See you around, bye.